Yeah, they saying a shit fake that he planted it, bro. We don't. I don't know, bro. Surprise winner is definitely spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. First, I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial in? Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? 1090 Jake would have took all the walls down. The streets would have had me hiding out in a small town. My Montreal connects stand up, not far down. The ones that you get in your stories from, they all clowns. I am a war general, season in preparation. My jacket is covered in medals, honor and decoration. You waited for this moment, overcome with the desperation. We plotted for a week and then we fed you the information. A daughter that's 11 years old, I bet he takes it. We thought about giving a fake name or a destination. But you so thirsty, you not concerned with investigation. Instead, you in that Venice studio, it's a celebration. You got to learn to fact check things and be less impatient. Your fans are rejoicing, thinking this. Y'all think this nigga did this though? This nigga got fucking like a hockey observation, nigga. What the fuck? When he act tough, bro. Yo, y'all niggas said doubt it, bro. Y'all niggas don't think that nigga literally told him shit like fed this nigga wrong information. You guys don't think that's a possibility, bro? I don't know, bro. I, I, it's Drake, bro. Nigga got resources, bro. This is my expiration. Even the picture you use, the jokes and the medication. The Maybach glove and the drug he uses for less inflation. Master manipulator, you bit on a speculation. You dumb and reactive, nigga. I'm petty with dedication. What about the bones we dug up in that excavation? And why isn't Whitney denying all of the allegations? Why is she following Dave free and I miss the morale? You haven't seen the kids in six months, the distance is wild. Dave leaving heart emojis underneath pics of the child. Speaking of anything with a child, let's get to that now. This Epstein angle was the shit I expected. TikTok videos you collected and dots. <sighs> yeah, niggas, man. <sighs> I, yo, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and just take one side. I do listen to both sides. So cut can be right, and other niggas can, you know. But damn. But why was she following him though? Dang? I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of that kind of look bad, bro. Instead of being on some disdirect shit, you rather fucking grab your pen and misdirect shit. My mom came over today and I was like, Mother I, Mother I, Mother I, wait a second. That's that one record where you say you got molested. Ah, oh, fuck me. I just made the whole connection. This about to get so depressing. What? Wait, his mom got molested or Kenny got molested? Huh? Drake better know what the fuck he's doing. He's Drake. That's what I'm saying, bro. He better know what the fuck he's doing. Kenny hasn't responded, right, chat? This shit crazy. This nigga going back and forth like this. This is trauma from your own confessions. This when your father leave you home alone with no protection. So neglected. That's why these pedophile raps and shit you so obsessed with. It's so excessive. They acting like it's so aggressive. But you just never known affection. I don't want to dish you anymore. This really got me second guessing. Touch my body by Mariah Carey play. You probably start reflecting. I never been with no one underage. But now I understand why this the angle that you really mess with. Just for clarity, I feel disgusted. I'm too respected. If I was fucking young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested. I'm way too famous for the shit you just suggested, but that's not the lesson. Clearly, there's a deeper message. Deep cuts that never healed and how they got infected. Like if Dave really fucked your girl and got her pregnant. Talk about breeding resentment. Not sure how to ease the sentiment. The shit's too intimate. I'm praying you. The nigga did say, I'm too rich to be. Maybe I'm too famous to be a pedo. Okay, that's not, that's not true, though, but. Because look at Epstein. Someone said we going to... Nigga, what the fuck is this profile picture, nigga? Uh, okay. I try to take both into consideration, bro. I, I agree. You recover from both incidents, but you a piece of shit, so this shit really no coincidence. Drake is not a name that you gon' see on no sex offender list. Easy does it. You mentioned an A minor, but niggas gotta be sharp and tell the fans who was it. You thought you left D flat, D major. I slit your throat with the razor and do Rick Ross air like that one flight from Malaysia. I'm your baby mama screensaver. Only fucking with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby Browns. I never look twice at no teenager. I'm a fucking hit maker, dog, not a peacemaker. Yeah, bullets that I'm stuffing in each chamber. Why you, why you gotta drop names though, bro? Don't drop the girl name, bro. 
Yo ass in extreme danger. Stop buying views and. Are you saying that nigga is it basically like got fucking neglected as a kid, bro? I comments, you may as well keep the paper. Shit you about to need for later. I give a fuck about your streaming data. You could drop a hundred more records. I'll see you later. Yeah, maybe when you meet your maker. I don't want to fight with a woman beater. It feeds your nature. If you still bumping R. Kelly, you could thank the savior. Said if they deleted his music and your music is gone. Says on if Drake came to my house and said suck my meat, I would. Bro, get help, bro. Yo, hey, yo, bro. Hey, yo, what the fuck? To a hypocrite, I don't understand why these people praise you. Sounding like you sent him commissary when he needs some paper. Album dropping soon, no wonder you turn a clout chaser instead of doing hard labor. Nigga, I see you when I see you like Fantasia. Whitney, you can hit me if you. So, y'all niggas gonna sit here and tell me that this nigga Kendrick started all this shit to promote his new album that's coming up soon? Need a favor. And when I say I hit your back, it's a lot safer. I promise. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this shit was some some good exercise. Like, it's good to get out, get the pen work done. You would be a worthy competitor if I was really a predator and you weren't fucking lying to every blogger and editor, but it is what it is. You definitely got this shit burnt the fuck out though. Like, you got 10 more records to drop. The one before the last one, we finessed you into telling a story that doesn't even exist. And then you go and drop the West Coast one to try and cover that up. I would like that one. That, that, that would be some shit I could dance to if you wasn't tripling down on some whole other bullshit. But, you know, at least your fans are getting some raps out of you. I'm happy I can motivate you, bring you back to the game. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that is facts though. Y'all niggas cannot sit here and act like y'all just don't miss this nigga music, bro. That nigga is right though. This nigga has has a point. Cause Kenny is gone for so long, Kendrick Lamar is gone for so long. Does not drop music for so long, and all of a sudden this nigga's like, I'm dissing niggas. I he has a point. This is all just to promote album sales, bro. Just to feed it, and he's making money off of this shit, and it's it's doing it's working, and Drake is right. You know, but just let me know when we get into the facts. Everything in my shit is facts. I'm waiting on you to return the favor, like. Nigga, Kenny ain't say shit? Is that nigga quiet? Damn, that nigga hasn't dropped in six years. Nigga said, welcome back. It's been good exercise. Nigga, Kenny's not dropping shit no more. Is he done? Nigga drop. You said he released an album in 2022. Holy. Yo, this one? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't even know that he dropped this album. You're right, he did. You're right, he did, bro. You're right. He had, but he, before this whole beef, he didn't drop for a year, though. He was gone for a year. I didn't even know that. That's how. That's how I did. I didn't even know, bro. Last time I heard about him was damn. I don't know, y'all. Were y'all niggas bumping this shit, bro? Any of this? The hell? That nigga Drake. <sighs> that nigga Kenny is a good ass troll, bro. If he was trolling, bro. Um, but he, you guys are right. He needs some more facts. He said the niggas editing TikTok clips and shit. Um, but saying you're too famous to be a pedo is crazy. Yeah, look at Epstein, bro. You can't say no shit like that. But uh. He got a point. Nigga Kenny just trying to boost some sales and it's working. 15, 17, 20 million, bro. We need some receipts, bro. That nigga saying it's true. That nigga, does he really be on his on his girl, though? That's kind of crazy. Does he actually do that? Yo, nah, that's kind of crazy, bro. That's kind of crazy. Um, Not bad. I'm going to give that one. I'm going to give that one a... Uh... Yo, that beat was tough, though, chat. Y'all cannot even lie. That beat was tough. That beat was tough. I'm gonna give it out an 8.5 out of 10. Tight joint. Tight joint. Um, something about Kenny's diss has put me to sleep. And sometimes he snaps. It's just I don't know the delivery at the beginning be getting me bored, but this is very, very interesting, bro. Very, very interesting. Um whole beef. Very, very interesting whole beef. Uh, I love the fact that Kenny even got out here and done this and you know, 
did, like this nigga, these these, these are goats, bro. Niggas know about Kendrick Lamar and Drake for eternity. This niggas gonna be playing that shit when he dead. So, I mean, this whole thing has definitely been super interesting, and I guess people love it no matter who everyone says is a win or lose. And at the end of the day, bro, it doesn't matter what fan you are. Like, no one's gonna ever say there's just one clear winner because everybody's gonna be, have their own fans and people who are neutral. Now, from a neutral point, what would you say wins? Like, I'm talking about neutral, neutral point, bro. I'm yeah, I'm happy for the music. I love it. I love the fact these guys are doing this. Now, the, I want to know what the hell does Cole have in the closet? He was like, let me just back up. Let me chill. And he deleted his music. He was like, I'm not getting into this, bro. I'm not even going to step. I, I want to know what happened there. But um, that way from Germany, they would have been like, you're not black. You're from Germany. <laughs> they were like, you're <laughs> They would have said some weird shit. Yeah. They would have, yo, Kendrick would have been like, bro, you're from Germany, bro. Like, you would have been like, go speak some German shit or something. They would have brought up some shit like that, bro. You said I have the most on this. Uh, nah, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think you do, bro. You oppose anything I say, gal. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I am a little bit of a me glazer, bro. I think Kenny was funny on one of the beats that he did, and some of them were kind of boring. Um, but, you know. I still feel like Drake's in control of this shit, bro. I don't know. I still feel like it. Like I said, yes, I do. I think you try to do it on purpose, my nigga. I do. I do think so. That's yes. Um, he said, I'm gonna let these niggas rap. Drake is deaf. I feel like this for some reason. I still feel like this nigga Drake is too confident, shit, bro. I'm like, I'm a little bit of a glazer, bro. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. And but these niggas, you know who be dick riders, bro? It'd be it'd be uh, Jacob and and Gout on Rod Wave, bro. Niggas be hating on Rod Wave, bro. Um, yo, y'all niggas swear, and niggas just swear y'all hate Rod Wave. Like for what reason, bro? Like just cause he's fat? Yeah, we get he's fat, bro. Oh my gosh, y'all niggas be just hating, bro. Where y'all niggas at? Uh, yeah, for some reason I still feel like Drake's control, bro. So I'm not gonna say that. I don't think anyone, bro. I think Drake got this. He said he just. Asked.